Hello guys, welcome to Code with BK. So in this video, I am going to solve this question of question about uh, one of ISC Computer Science Practical Paper uh, of 2014. So this is the question in front of me, and I am going to follow my usual strategy. I am going to read it out. I am going to clear as many as doubt possible from my end, and I am going to prepare an outline, and then I am going to code this out. So question one says, a composite magic number is a positive integer. Which is composite as well as a magic number, composite and a magic number. So as we all know, composite numbers are those numbers which are not prime. Or the other way, a composite number is a number which has more than two factors. For example, ten. So ten is a composite number, and one is neither prime nor composite. That you need to keep in mind. And then we have this definition for a magic number, which says the magic number is a number in which the eventual sum of the digits is equal to one. So twenty-eight equals two plus eight equals ten equals one plus zero plus one. Okay. Cool. I said two positive integers m and n, where m is less than n. As user input, display the number of composite magic integers that has range between m and n. Okay. Output them along with the frequency. Okay. And input is this is this, and then I have output as this. This is the output. Okay. So the question is quite clear to me. I don't have any issues, and I have an outline in my mind. I'm going how I'm going to code it. So let's start. It. So I have this main method. So I'll write two methods. The first is to check if the given Value is composite. So, so the a given value is composite if it is not a prime. So, static boolean is composite int n. And I am going to write a method check for prime. So, static boolean is prime. Int n. So, if this is one, return false. So, if n is equals to one, return false. If this is two, return true. If n is equals to two, return true. If this is an even number, return false. If n percent Two is equal to zero. I return false because even numbers are not, are not even numbers are not uh, prime. And uh, I've already taken the case for two. So two is the only even number which is prime. And check for prime now. So for int i is equals to three, i is less than equal to n, i plus equal to two. You can do math dot sqrt n also. Less than equal to n also it will work both the ways. So people who are more into complicated programming will understand that even if I go till less than equal to math dot sqrt n, I'll get the same output. I'll leave it till so math dot sqrt n. If i divides n completely, and n is the value here. So if i divides n completely. Return false. If n percent i is equal to zero, return false. And if the control which is here, return true. It is a prime. So you can do a quick check if you want this to be. Uh, if you want to check if it is working properly or not, because you have three hours, so you have enough time. So return not is prime. And so it is not prime. It is a composite. So my check for composite is done. Check for magic. So static boolean is magic. So I have int n. What I do? I need to. What do I need to do here? Is continuous sum is eventually equal to one. So a loop till the value of n is a single digit. Okay, so while n is n is not a single digit, while n is greater than nine, so get the sum of the digits. So I'll write another method method to get the sum of digits. So static int get digits. Sum int n. Oh, int the the 
equals digit so okay so how to find out the digit sum is given in detail in one of the videos that i have posted so you can check it out and i'm going to do it in very short here i'm just going to write the code i'm not going to explain much and in even if this method is prime how to check if a number is prime or not i've detailed i've explained it in very detail uh, in one of my videos uh, in this same channel so you can check it out check out that as well okay so if digit sum is currently zero as n is not equal to zero while n is not equal to zero get the digit at the last position in d is equal to n percent 10 add to sum digit digit sum plus is equals to d and remove the last digit n is equal to n by 10 and i return the sum return digit sum okay i i guess this is correct there is no issue and obviously because this is a practical paper i can compile and check again and again so i'll just go and quickly compile and see so i'll just add a return n is equals to one so i quickly do a compile java c i s c okay no issues as far now okay so this is fine this is fine this is fine this is fine okay get the sum of the digits n is equals to get digits sum n so what i do is i so that is what it is doing it is adding 2 and 8 and it is storing back into n it is adding 1 and 0 storing back into n so that is what i'm doing so n is digit sum of n and I, this is a magic number if the final value of n is 1 and i loop as long as n is a two digit number that is n is greater than 9 okay so so let me quickly check if 10 a magic number system dot dot oh sorry print ln uh, 10 is magic magic plus is magic 10 oh oh whatever the number was 28 i'll take i'll have a quickly quick check if it, this is correct or not because i'm quick, pretty short so compile 28 magic true i'll check for so i hope this this for me i guess this works so my magic works fine what i do is start from n so i am using uh data input stream to use dis for input data input stream s is equal to new data input stream system dot in and dis read the value of m and i always tell you that you uh, input and output uh, in your actual program should be as close as possible to data even given in the question so if input is like this m is equals to you should prompt for m is equals to and then you should prompt n is equals to okay so system dot out dot print m is equals to then read m int m is equals to integer integer dot parse int dis dot read line ask n so all you can do is simply copy this and you can do n is equals to you can do n is equals to and then loop to keep the count of the well of composite magic numbers so int frequency i guess because we have to print the frequency as well by at the end loop and check for int i is equals to m i is less than equal to n i plus plus check if if uh, it says 
इफ या इफ इज मैजिक एंड इज कॉम्पोजिट सो इफ इज मैजिक आई एंड इज कॉम्पोजिट आई आई इंक्रीमेंट काउंट सो काउंट ओ सॉरी फ्रीक्वेंसी प्लस प्लस एंड प्रिंट दिस सो सिस्टम डॉट आउट डॉट प्रिंट I have I plus a comma. Okay, and then finally change line. So okay, you have to read the composite mag magic integers. I have to print that this as well. So print the prompt system system dot out dot print ln two. Oh. then you have to print these and then you have to print the frequency so frequency of magic numbers is and you have to print change a line sorry and then you have to print I do a lot of copy and paste. That is okay. And frequency is plus plus frequency. So I guess my code is done. I'm going to quickly compile and check. Java C. Oh, it says import Java dot i dot asterisk. I did not. That's okay. Import. Dot asterisk. Oh, throw the exception. I did not add. Oh, throws exception. Oh, I have to. Okay, clear it now. Compile again. Try to run it. M is equals to ten and n is hundred and I have ten twenty eight forty six fifty five sixty four eighty two ninety one hundred and my output is correct. So the only thing extra here is the comma at the end and you do you see it's not there. So you'll have to make some uh, adjustments to that that you can take an array and then you can store that uh, these values in an array and then print that array and but then you'll have to count the number of magic integers or you have to take some very large array value, very large array. so these are the modifications that you can do but this is the this is the core code this is this is the correct code and you can make changes as the way you want so i hope this video was helpful to you people and if you like this video do subscribe to my channel and like my video and i'll be posting more such videos very soon thank you so much for watching